All right, gang, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the earliest space flights that were done by not just the United States, but some other countries as well. So we're going to look at the very first thing uh, that was put in space that was man-made. We're going to talk about the programs that NASA started, a um, few of the space stations. We're going to do this over several uh, lessons and some of the scientific knowledge that we've gotten from that. You can see some of that down here at the bottom of this slide. Um, there's a whole lot of things and uh, probably by next week we're going to get to a slide you're going to be really amazed at some of the stuff that's in your life as a result of the space program. So let's move on to the very first thing that was put into space by humans and that is called Sputnik. This thing was not very big. You can see right there it's about the size of a beach ball with a bunch of antennas and it emitted a signal and it was not put up by the United States. Nope. It was put up by the Soviet Union comrade. And the whole point was get something that we've made, you know, and put it in orbit. It didn't orbit very long. Hour and a half, that's it. And then it burned up on re-entry. But when you're trying to answer number three, in your notes, the first man-made object in space was what? That thing right there. Mm -hmm. And did the United States put it up? No, it was the Soviet Union. And that was in 1957. No, I was not alive then. But Mr. Warner probably was because he's real old. Uh, no, he feels old sometimes. Don't tell him I said that. Okay. Then we get to the first person in space. By the United States? Nope by the Soviet Union, and that is in 1961, Yuri Gagarin, Yuri Gagarin, and that actually helps us answer number four, okay, he didn't orbit very long, mm -mm. so by this point, you know, I mean, you got Sputnik going up into space, and you could actually see it in the night sky, you know, you got the United States going, what, what is that thing, you know, hearing about it, I mean, we're freaked out at this point, and again, I wasn't alive, but I've heard many things about it. You know, see, so you got the, the, the Russians, you know, they put up this thing, and then they actually put a man into space, and by that time, the United States was like, <coughs> really? No, that, they didn't say that back then. But what we need to do now is we need to look at the pivotal moment that put the United States into space. It was President John F. Kennedy, and I believe it was a State of the Union speech that proposed that we put a man on the moon and return him safely to Earth. And that was President John F. Kennedy. And many of y'all may know, um, if you look at the date of that speech, 1961, uh, it wouldn't be very long before he was assassinated. So uh, that was the big turning point. He laid out the challenge. He drew a line in the sand, right? All right, so what started was a series of programs. Now, the worst thing that you could do in a case like this would be to just take off and say, okay, we're going to build a craft and we're going to send it to the moon and that's it. No, 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 no. I want you to understand that the, the reason for all these different programs is a progression. Okay? It's a progression to build this vehicle. Let's test it out. Let's make sure it's good. And then let's test this. And then let's test this. Okay? automobile same way all right so the first program that came along was the mercury program and the whole point of the mercury program was to utilize a single person spacecraft later on we send three well why only one this time uh-huh in case that one died we only lost one astronaut mm -hmm. So, for number six, it was the Mercury program of the USA that utilized a single-person spacecraft. And we basically tried to copy what the Soviet Union did, only do it in our own way. Okay, There's a lot of different things that went on with the Mercury program, and I'll just leave that there. But uh, some things I want you to get from the Mercury program, that Alan Shepard was the first American, not person, first American in space. Okay, And he was in the capsule called Freedom 7. And then John Glenn okay, became the first American to orbit the Earth. Okay, to orbit the Earth. And that was in Mercury 3. And that, the capsule 
was was also called friendship seven okay and really we just want to test out for ourselves can a person operate as a pilot an experimenter you know in 34 hours of weightlessness so that wraps up this lesson for today